Hello everybody, Anthony is here. So this is a time lapse where I show how I'm created all these structures really super fast. Uh, here I start with just a sketch tool, and a sketch tool I have a more detailed video about it. Uh, the link is at the top and also in the description. So here, you know, the, uh, the whole idea about it is you just paint uh, the projections. So you have three projections, and you paint from top, front, and left, and it requires really zero skill. Like this is the most simple painting of 3D shapes out there ever. And that allows you to really design these ideas on the fly incredibly fast. And it can do complex shapes that you wouldn't be able to iterate in any other software at, that, at this speed and quality. The quality is not that high in terms of like a final, final result. I mean, it's pretty high, but it's not like super polished. So ideally, you might want to take it somewhere else to finalize it if you need to. If it is just more like a background prop or some kind of quick kit bash set, it's, it does the job. Uh, but still, if you're designing a new thing, this is the fastest way you can do it inside 3D space. Here I'm just overlaying the shape and I try new ideas. It gets interesting and kind of un unpredictable in, in, in a way when you cut, uh, when you do some complex sketch from the front, from the top, and then you play with the ideas when you cut. Uh, because it will kind of inherit that design from before. And you can see here, I'll, I'll just scale the sketch so you can actually uh, push it, you know, scale it on any axis, make it longer, shorter, thicker, whatever you want. You can even rotate it. And in the next videos, I'll show how I was doing some architectural ideas that you actually, actually can see those buildings in the background. I was doing those architectural ideas by rotating the sketch and creating some new shapes I would have never come up anyway um, other than that. Here I am using a tool called a Vox Hide to do smaller hides of the shapes. And I'm trying to use the, I'm setting up the symmetry so it will go on all the axes. And this Vox Hide I can hide it and then unhide it. Sometimes with a sketch tool it's a little bit tricky to make a really small cut or with the sketch tool, the cut goes through the whole volume. So, uh, if I want to make a more intricate shape that doesn't cut through the whole thing, I will use something like a walk side where I can hide a part of it and then unhide it. And uh, also using a blob tool, which just allows me to draw these planes on top. I would still say that the bulk of the design was just made with the sketch tool just lightning fast. Especially with this uh, inherently complicated circle, circular shapes. So you can see I'm just uh, deleting that and pressing control and removing all those guys away. And then I'm redrawing it to create new designs. I wish there was a, like a little preview because you can see I constantly rotate the screen to see how it looks. Uh, maybe in the future versions of 3D Code there will be some, something like that. I constantly uh, ask them for some requests. And the sketch tool was actually uh, really pushed for it to get a lot better because in the previous versions of 3D Code it was much worse. So it wasn't really working that well. So now it's uh, working pretty good flawlessly. Before it was quite buggy and not really usable. And now, uh, with the latest versions, it's just perfect, like the 3D Code 2022. And here, I'm just trying to add more details at the ends of the pipe, uh, not so much at the beginning. So I just pr press that uh, apply, uh, like a hard surface sketch to create the shape. So now we have it on a separate layer. And idea here was, uh, really a concept design exercise. I wanted to try, try, try a lot of shapes and see what fits better than my environment. And this is where I think 3D code really shines. It really allows you to iterate so fast that like no other software can really come any near in comparison. 
even though the drawbar cave you do get pretty heavy shapes so each shape is like few can be like a couple million triangles on the export and what i've done before is that i would design this stuff in 3d code and then i can drop it into blender and use booleans to get cleaner and more lightweight shapes uh, but i've tried to do these designs on my own inside blender i just i wasn't able i just couldn't do it uh really here it kind of empowers you to think outside the box think on the fly try 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 while almost like you know intuitively while if you don't have that intuition like really worked out um in blender you kind of lose time trying ideas that might not work uh it doesn't look appealing again here you just try 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 different uh like I'm hitting E menu and yeah, E menu and then I'm picking the rectangular shapes, squares, circles, and applying them here. So it runs at about three X speed, uh, this time lapse. But it's you, even when you when I watched it at real time, it was actually was <laughs> quite fast. And I have uh, the symmetry from Z, X, and Y. Uh, again, that's I have it so you know, it can be really efficient, and I can make all the sides at the same time. You can see here I'm just moving the stuff, uh, applied it to the layer, duplicated it, moved it away. I just wanted to have a clean layer here. And then I try a new design. So what I think about is like, okay, I made structures that feel overly complicated. Maybe now I try something that is really minimalistic, just with some holes, some ports on the inside. And that you could say you could do it in Blender pretty easily. But again, here we have the power to do so many ideas so fast. So now I'm trying to more to go more this kind of sci-fi angulated design. It could be a pipe, could be some communication. It could be a building as well. Uh, you know, whatever your heart desires. And in the newest version of 3D code, you can also you can have the ability to rotate this rectangle. You can, pray, uh, can uh, press Alt Shift and you can rotate it uh, to create a rectangular shape. So it makes life a little bit easier. Again, you can see here I'm, I'm just really playing with the ideas. I draw the shape, look at it, is it good, not erase it. Uh, try it and try it again. And this is like my look at it and my way of doing it. I am always quite stand stand when I see other people using it with their ideas. It's always different, so you can play with it and apply your own design thinking and get the stuff out. I decided to commit this to a layer, so I now have a, another shape. Could be a fence, infrastructure piece, wall piece. You can really generate a quick kit bash, then decimate it, send it, for example, to a Blendo or Unreal and um, have your environment. You can also texture it here pretty quick. You can see here, I decided to squish this stuff up and down and see how that affects the sketch. So 
And that you can see how it really kind of blends it and morphs the whole thing. So you get new design just by uh, scaling it up and down. Here I'm just kind of hitting a bit of a wall, so I'm trying to come up with something, but it's not really looking any good for me. It can bug out a little bit if you squash it up and down a lot, uh, open file, close file. Unfortunately, at one point it can start to behave a bit funny, so you have to kind of restart the scene. I've had that uh, issue happening with the file I uh, worked with for a while, but yeah, uh, it's really cold, unfortunately. Fortunately, it can be quite buggy. There you go, got a new section. Again, new design, moving everything, but I'm still inheriting the side view, right? So I have the designs from the side view. I'm just working on the front. Again, scaling it up and down to see how it uh, changes the whole look. Having more symmetry on the axis allows me to kind of make more of these cuts, more to have more repetition happening. And then I commit that to the layer. And I've already created a whole bunch of them, so like so many that I just have to play and place them alongside and then look at them all together and uh, think which one I want to use, which one I want to delete. And I'm also looking from the side, like I'm thinking about it, I'm like imagining could it be a building? Uh, how can I repurpose it to, to another uh, use? Could it be a building? Could it be a prop? Uh, a stand, vertical, horizontal, how it can be used? You can see I have some buildings out there. They're kind of small, just uh, but it's irrelevant. I will be scaling down th those guys later on. And that's really about it. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, check out the video about how to use this tool uh, in the description on the end screen and just give it a go uh, and see you in the next video.